the farm finishes around about 400 cattle a year, which consists of 200 breeding cows and the same amount of stores bought in. It's predominantly limousine cross cows that we have here. Um, we have an Aberdeen Angus bull as well that crossed with the limousine produces top quality beef and we find that works well for our system. Cows are grazed in roughly 30 cows per, per lot. We try and rotate it, maybe uh, graze for six to seven years and then plough that up and crop it for maybe three to four and then back into grass again. We start calving end of October time. They're calved in their batches right through to about the end of May. It gives us a, a, a steady flow of fat cattle sort of all year round, which is good for cash flow. It gives you an income every month. The biggest batch of them would be around March sort of time. We're weighing cattle once a month. We're putting nearly 100 cattle through the race once a month, which was very time consuming. So we invested in a Ritchie Way monitor a few years ago now through a couple of grant scheme. So now they're just selected by a, just an app on your phone. So they're just selected through their management ear tag when they get to a, a sort of set weight. So that's really cut down the labour and the handling of the cattle and the, and the stress in them too. Anything that's under performance taken out is to try and stay as efficient as possible. They usually go on to the feed around about sort of 500 kilos sort of mark. They go on to like a finishing diet. It's a homegrown barley. We have silage in it as well to keep the, the grass fed aspect as well. The steers go to around 680 to 700 kilos. Heifers about 650 to 660. As a Scotch beef industry, I think that's something we need to differentiate ourselves from everybody else is keep the, the grass base in there as much as possible. We constructed a, an outdoor silage pit four or five years ago now. Our old silage pit could only hold half the silage and we're having to wrap the other half, which uh, you know had a lot of uh, plastic involved. So now we don't wrap any silage now and it's cut down the plastic dramatically. There's a lot of changes even in, in the, my short time farming. We started GPS and a field mapping the arable side of the, the farm a good number of years ago now. And we're now doing grassland as well. And so it throws up some really interesting results. So I think that, you know, the, to get the lineman right, uh, one of the most important things and the GPS technology has been a great help for that. It's very much a typical family farm. My wife and my two kids, Abby and Murray, and the wider family as well, really get involved. At the start of lockdown, we started selling our own beef uh, direct to the customer. Uh, we did doorstep deliveries. It's an idea we thought about for a long time. We make up orders and we deliver it to the customers. And then we also attend Peterhead and Ellen Market with the beef. It's a great keen interest in knowing where your food comes from and how it's produced and you don't always see that traceability right through to the end product. So we thought selling direct to customer we can tell our story so the QMS Quality Assured Scheme helps to, to promote the, the beef and give assurances that we're meeting the, the right requirements. It's good to go out there and, and meet the consumer direct and tell them what we're doing that they're genuinely interested in how their food's produced and there's a lot of myths out there and it's great to get out there and dispel a lot of these myths. We've sort of had a long tradition of showing cattle on the farm. Now the kids are taking a keen interest in the showing, so uh, they're sort of taking over that side of it and they're, they're really keen. They've got, their, they've got their calves highlighted for the summer season already. We've got two calves, so we halter train them and we clip them and then we wash them and get them ready for the show. And then when you're at the show, you show them round the ring and then hopefully you get a prize or two. I would say absolutely delighted to win the Agar Scotch Scotch Beef Farm of the Year. I think it just highlights the hard work as we do as an industry and uh, I would encourage anybody to, to go for it. I think um, what we're doing here is just typical of most other Scottish farms. There's a lot of challenges, it's not an easy job but it's very enjoyable and I think it's really rewarding. I want to be a farmer when I grow up. When I grow up I want to be a farmer as well.